Okay, so now we want to add the ability to create new episodes. So to begin, we are going to uh, do a Rails generate uh, controller, and we're going to generate a episodes controller. So hit enter, then let's go to sublime and go under controllers, episodes controller. Now before we do anything here, we need to make some routes for our uh, episodes. But uh, these are going to be nested under the podcast because if you think about it, a episode does not belong on its own. An episode only belongs uh, under a podcast. So what we'll do is we will change this resources podcast to a block by doing do end. Then inside of here, we'll create resources for the episodes and save that. Now we can do rake routes. And you can see all of the episode uh, routes were created right here. But instead of just being the regular um, slash episode, it's now uh, slash podcast episodes, etc. So I want to first create the ability to create a new episode. So to do that inside of our episodes controller, we need to define a def new and a def uh, create method. So def new is going to have at episode equals at podcast dot episodes dot new. So uh, in order to be able to do at podcast, we need to first find the podcast. But uh, we want to do that in a private method. So down here, I'm going to define a def find podcast as well as a def find um, find episode. Inside the def find podcast, we'll do at podcast equals podcast.find, and we're going to find by the params of the podcast underscore ID. And then the episode will find at episode equals episode.find by params of ID. And then what we want to do is up top, we'll do a before action to find podcast. And then we'll do another before action to find the episode. But uh, the find episode we only want on the uh, show method, uh, which we haven't created yet, but we'll just add it as is for now at episode equals at podcast. So it's finding the podcast by the podcast params. And then uh, it's uh, creating a new episode. Then in the def create, we're going to do the same at episodes. Episode equals at podcast dot episodes dot new, except we're going to throw in some episode underscore params. And uh, we need to define what those episode params are. So under the private method, let's do def episode params end. Then we need to permit the, or we need to require the params for the episode. And then we're going to permit the title and the description. So now in our create method, if the episode is able to save, if at episode.save, we're going to redirect to podcast episode path, and then we are going to define or add in the at podcast. So what this is doing is it's going to the podcast path and then it's finding the podcast ID. Else we are going to render new end. All right, so let's save that. So if I go to slash rocket ship podcast slash episodes slash new hmm, un uninitialized constant episodes controller podcast. Oh, I uh, misspelled. Where is this def find podcast? Okay. There we go. Refresh. All right, now we get a template is missing error, uh, just as we should. 
So it's looking for the new.html.erb. So let's uh, go ahead and create that. Under the app views episodes, let's create a new file and call save this as new.html.erb. So I'm just going to write an h1 and say uh, new episode. And then let's create the form. So form underscore four. And since this is a nested form, it's going to be a bit different. We're going to find the podcast and then the episode. So this is a form for the podcast and then episode and then do and we'll do F and then go down to the bottom and end that. So let's just add the title and the description. Uh, let's do f.label for the title. And let's add, a, let's add a br tag to break it to the next line. Let's do the same f.text uh, field for the title. And then let's just add a br tag to break this up. We'll clean this up later, of course. F.label for the description. F.text uh, area for the description. BR tag. And then let's just do F.submit. So now if I go back and refresh, you can see new episode. Uh, we have the option to create a new title and a description. So uh, let's try out, uh, see if we can create a new episode. So I'm just going to call this episode number one. And let's go to hipsum.co and grab some filler text for the description paste that in, create episode. All right, so we get a no routes match um, podcast episode path. Oh, I think I know what happened. So let's go to the episodes controller. Uh, let's do a, let's check the rake routes. Hmm. So no routes match action show controller podcast ID. Okay, so we're trying to grab the podcast ID um, right here for the app podcast, um, but it's grabbing everything. So let's try just adding dot ID. Actually, it might be smart enough to just do it on its own. Let's try going to the episode path. Let's go back and create episode again. Okay, so we do in fact need that because uh, we are missing required keys of ID. So let's try at podcast.id and create the episode. Okay, um, I know what's happening. So this should be at podcast at episode. Let's go back and create an episode. There we go. So we accidentally created four episodes, but that's totally fine. We can delete those. So uh, the issue was it needed to find the uh, podcast ID. So we did that through at podcast and then it needed the episode ID uh, because it's a nested uh, route. So we needed to define both. So now we are on the show page, but we have an unknown action. So let's uh, create that, go under the create method, do a def show and end, refresh. Now we have a template is missing. So let's uh, create that template, episodes, uh, save a new file in the app views uh, episodes. And I will save this as show.html.erb. Now what I'm going to do is go to the podcast show. Um, it's going to be almost the same as this page. So, and I'm just going to paste it in, save that. Let's go back and refresh. So all the podcast information is, um, we're able to get that because we're doing the before action find podcast. So it's finding the podcast. That's how we're able to access the podcast title, uh, description, link, etc. 
Uh, so what we want to do is change this static content to loop through um, our episodes. So to do that, um, so what we want to do is add the episode uh, content. So I'm going to go to the static page and go to episode.html. Then I'm going to add, grab the episode content div and let's uh, place that under the breadcrumbs and make sure it's tabbed in. There we go. Now let's uh, change the title to at episode.title ruby at episode dot title go back and refresh All right now we have episode number one and let's get the title which will probably be the same or the description at episode dot description which it is all right so that's looking good so next let's let's uh, change the breadcrumbs so let's add another span and also uh, episode.title. So let's go back and refresh. Now we have the episode title. Uh, we need to change this and add a link to. Link to, and we're gonna say uh, at podcast, at podcast.title. Oops. Then we're gonna go to the podcast path at podcast and then the span, and then the episode title. Refresh. Now we should be able to click here. Go to, now go to all podcast. perfect. All right, so uh, now that we have episodes, we should be able to loop through them on the uh, show page. So let me go to the podcast show. So what I'm going to do is uh, just under the UL, I'm going to do at episodes, dot each uh, do episode and then I have the li content tab that in um, let's just stub out the link for now uh, we'll just keep this as is until we get the paperclip image uploading uh, then we want to have the title uh, tweaked a bit so let's uh, remove this let's do a link to uh, episode dot title and we'll go to the podcast episode path and then we'll uh, do at podcast comma episode. So let's save that refresh. Oh, okay. So we need to just do the end. We're missing the end block from the episodes each do. I'll probably still get an error. Yeah, so we get a undefined method dot each. So if we go to our episodes controller, or I'm sorry, our podcast controller, uh, what we need to do is find the episode as well. So at episode equals episode dot where the podcast underscore ID is equal to at podcast. And then we want to order created underscore at in descending order. So save that, refresh. Whoops, at episodes. Be sure to make sure that's plural because in the show we have episodes. Refresh. There we go. So since we created episode number one four times, they're all the same. Uh, let's go ahead and delete the static content. Save that, refresh. Let's uh, test it out by doing podcast slash one episodes slash new. This is, this works. And I'll uh, do hipsum.co again, grab some filler text, just a little bit this time, and paste that in. So now we're on, uh, we get redirected to episode five. And let's go back to the Rocket Ship podcast. You can see this does work. So it's now looping through all the podcast episodes. Beautiful. And if we click on the link, it takes us to that. Let's change uh, this loop to be not static as well. So let's go back to, see this is pretty messy. I'm just gonna close out of these. Let's go to the episodes controller. 
So for the def show, we're going to do at episode equals episodes or episode dot where the podcast ID is equal to at podcast. So basically, this is going to find all the podcast episodes that belong to this podcast. And then let's do order uh, created underscore at descending. Save that. Now in the episode show page, uh, we are basically going to do the same thing right under the UL. We'll do a loop uh, at episodes dot each do episode. And then let's close that loop. And then we will push over this content and let's do a link to, you know, I'm just going to copy this from the show page. Oh, you know what? We forgot to change this to the dynamic content. What we are going to do for the description, this is on the podcast show page. Let's do, um, truncate method uh, episode dot description. So what this is doing is it's grabbing the episode description and it's uh, doing the truncate method. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. At a length of let's do 150 characters and then close that. So I'm going to go back to the show page so you can see it limits the the amount of characters for each. If I did change this to 50, for example, and refreshed, you can see it limits to only 50 characters, then it does the dot, dot, dot. So let's do maybe 160. That looks good. Now on this page, let's do the same. So I'm going to copy these two and change them here. Oops. Refresh. Perfect. So let's uh, go ahead and delete everything that is static down to the UL. Save that. Let's move the end over. There we go. And one last thing I want to do is, let's say we're on uh, the episode five. This works. You can see that it's that episode still shows up right here. What I want to do is make it so um, in this loop we don't we reject it if it's uh, the current episode. So we can do that by going to our episodes controller and adding a dot reject method. And we'll do e, e dot id equals at episode, episode dot id. Save that. Now let's go back and refresh. Now you can see the uh, this works does not show up in the loop. And that's because it's rejecting it if uh, the ID, basically this is looping through all of the loop. And then if the ID equals the episode ID, so the current episode, it uh, rejects it from that loop. All right, so let's uh, do a git status. Let's do a git add dot, git s, git commit with the message, um, add episode controllers, controller, and views. Okay, so now uh, in the next video, we are going to add the dashboard, and then we are going to add the ability to edit and destroy an episode. <laughs>